My name is Amar Jyot Singh and I regularly report on immigration and visa matters in Canada and also sensational news all over the world. In the era of coronavirus, uh, universities and colleges are facing shortfall of tuition dollars and many universities and colleges are going extra length to attract students. I'm showing you an article from England. Uh, this is uh, posted today on BBC about Queen's University in a bid to bring in foreign students to study in their courses. What do they do? How do they bring the students and look at the steps that they took? So the title is uh, self-explanatory, Queen's Charters Private Jet for Chinese Students. They have a number of Chinese students who were admitted and they chartered a private plane to bring these students to England. Let's uh, dive in. Queen's University in Belfast has chartered a jet to take hundreds of students from China to Northern Ireland, which is, I think, yeah, I, I, I get so, uh, and I, in the face of coronavirus pandemic, Chinese students offer a vital source of rev income at the time when COVID-19 has triggered fears about huge losses. The Irish News reports, Queen said that new and returning students would be offered places on direct flight from Beijing on 18 September. Students will pay a similar rate to comparable commercial flights. The universities also, uh, also set guidelines to reassure families about safety. With international travel badly impacted by the pandemic and with many people still wary of traveling while London and other major airports flying students from China to Belfast directly is seen as reassuring to both students and the families while helping reduce fuss and anxiety levels for those making the trip. The university said on, on its website, there are currently about 1,200 Chinese students studying at Queens at the beginning of February. The university stopped any travel to China because of the pandemic. Each student close to, uh, depending on what the fee structure is, I would think each student brings a close to about at least 20,000 pounds 20,000 British pounds uh, to the economy, uh, close to about $30,000 Canadian dollars. I mean, if you if you do the math, 1,200 already existing students, and we don't know how many are coming. So uh, the flight might have close to at least, I would say, 100 plus. I don't know whether there's a number given here. In a flight, uh, there could be at least, uh, who knows, could be 100 plus or 200 plus. Uh, that's a serious uh, money. And not to reassure them would be a huge loss of potential revenue. Universities and colleges cannot afford uh, not to take students because, hey, uh, the economy is down, they have no money. So foreign students is the main main source of revenue and they pay three times at the local students. Let's take a look uh, further. Uh, in a statement, QB said passengers will be required to provide evidence of recent negative COVID-19 test and must also not be displaying symptoms at the time of travel. The students will be transported directly to the campus from the airport and provided with quarantine accommodation if these measures are still required at the time. So this is a great uh, adjustment between the government and the university that, you know, we need the students. We don't need any bureaucracy at the airport. We need to, you know, shuffle them directly from the airport to the university so, so that we can take care of them. We want them to be healthy so that they can uh, study and then of course pay the fees. It added that the flight had been arranged for the students from China in the first instance at the country or region with the greatest demand. No matter what you say about China, Chinese students are fueling uh, the demand for international education all over the world, be it Canada, be it America, or, uh, England, Australia, New Zealand, anywhere. So this is the first time I have ever seen uh, I've never seen something like this in a Canadian, a Canadian or American university, but but uh, uh, English university uh, charting. This this tells you how desperately they need the students. Additional flights may be arranged from other regions depending on demand. It said spike in demand in February. Private jet operators across the UK saw a big spike in requests from passengers wanting to charter their own planes during the coronavirus outbreak. Yeah, this. Uh, Great business for private uh, chartering of planes. With airlines scaling back flights in and out of China, some travelers were struck inside also the country. The wealthy ones are turning to private jet operators to ask them to arrange flights, despite the huge cost. 
but the companies had to turn them away due to travel ban and lack of available planes and crew. So it is. Uh, check it out. This is on bbc.com as of today, which is July 8th, uh, and it's right there. So we want international students because we want their money. Let them come, no matter what, whatever the cost is, all right? Thank you very much. Hey, take a look, and uh, please comment. I always read comments, and uh, let me know if I can uh, improve in in my some other in the content or something else, and I always look for suggestions. Bye-bye.